everybody and welcome back to my channel for an exciting week. I'll be honest, there is going to be a couple of videos coming your way from the next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, next four days. I have got down to the ponies. I'm leaving Addie out as long as possible so she can chill because she has got a bit of a journey in the trailer as usual because that's what happens when you live in Cornwall. We have to travel everywhere. So we are heading up firstly to Blenheim Horse Trials which I am so excited for and something that I've wanted to do for quite a long time. So I went there grooming for Tina I think it was 2015, maybe 16, 15, 16, one of those. So that was quite a few years ago and really loved the atmosphere. I think it is fantastic that we are able, us amateurs, to ride at these international events when you've got the pros obviously going around all the much bigger fences. But we are going up there because they hold an eventers challenge. So like arena eventing, uh, they hold it at a 90 and 100 level and we are going up to represent Cornwall Trek, our riding club, in the 100, which like I say, I'm really excited. I've wanted to do it for a long time. I did actually get offered a space last year, but it clashed with something else that I'd already entered. I think it was Chillington. And then I would have had to go up and back like in quite quick concession. And I just, yeah, so it didn't quite work out last year, but 2024 is the year. So we're heading up there first, and then we are going to be doing a little Gakku, a BE on Saturday. So I have booked somewhere. We're gonna travel back down from Blenheim a little bit. I think it's only about an hour. And then stay Thursday and Friday, and then compete on the Saturday before coming home. Now, I just wanna say here foremost, huge thank you to Tina for giving up her, her basically, over half of her week to come and support, film and keep me company on the long journeys, overnight staying and all of that. So huge thank you to her. We're leaving around lunchtime. So it's a lovely sunny morning here at the moment. And I was gonna try and not make this too waffly, but I have just started getting some things out. I've put all the back seats down in the car, literally left everything open of that car now that I've just had a look at it. I don't know whether you can, yeah, all doors, everything all open. So it is ready to be loaded up. I've obviously got all my stuff from home. And I just thought I haven't actually included packing and what I take, what I use for a little while. So without it hopefully being too waffly, I thought I would just very quickly go through what I'm taking, what I use, thankfully, it's quite a lot of the stuff that we'll be using for the Aventus Challenge tomorrow. We will be reusing again for eventing on Saturday. But I, yeah, I know some of you guys like a bit of packing and seeing and being nosy. So I thought I would just very quickly talk you guys through it. So like I say, I've just literally thrown everything down here on the floor. And then I was like, oh, actually, let's start the vlog and get you guys included in what I take. So... Without further ado, this is what I'm taking for us going away for four days. It's like a little mini holiday. I'm so excited. Right, so firstly, I usually get out the big hairy pony bag. I'm sure you guys have seen this featured before. This is what I call my Mary Poppins bag. It is absolutely brilliant. I'm actually hot. I don't know why I put a base layer on. Anyways, so first thing I put in is my hats. So I've got two hat bags, both by Champion and that is my show jumping dressage hat. So that is my lovely one in navy. And then in this bag, I also keep like the stuff that I wear for dressage and show jumping. So my hair, hair nets and my hair scrunchie. I've got my stock in there, stock pin. There's gloves in there as well for what I wear. They match my jacket. I've got hairspray for when my hair gets plaited, my new way of doing my bun. So that is in one hat bag. And then in the other one, where I've got my cross country hat. Oh, look at the colors, I love it, I love it. Um, so that is in there. I've got spare hat silks, my stopwatch, cross country gloves, because I do wear different for cross country, um, and another country for black, because I do tend to change into that. So that is them in there. Also grabbed my number bib. So for show jumping dressage, I wear navy. I can actually take out those old num numbers, maybe from Chant. And then I've got black for cross country and what I'll be wearing tomorrow because I just think it looks a little bit nicer with my cross country colors. And then we've got the stub box. I'll be honest, that has seen much better days, but that has got everything in there. So for studding wise, 
Um, it's got a hoof pick, it's got white tape, and then it's got one of these metal dishes, which is absolutely fantastic because it holds all the studs in there. And then I mainly use a tap. I found these ones are the best. You can really get sort of your angle and your like um, effort behind it. That isn't the word I'm wanting to use. And also got a pick as well to pick out those stud holes. I do tend to just do them on the day. I know a lot of people would sort of tap them out now whilst at home and then, well, I can't even do that up. It's, yeah, I really need a new box. So if anyone's got any good recommendations for a new stud box, I would love to know. Put that in there delicately so it doesn't lose everything. But as I was saying, people tend to stud them before, or tap the holes in the threads before going and fill them with cotton wool. I can't admit that I do that, but I don't quite, I don't mind studding really when we get to places. Um, so that is that. Um, I've also got Addy's, it's like a show waterproof rug. So this is by Horseware. This is the Amigo Hero 600D Ripstop Plus. So that is zero feel and is fantastic. I actually used it at Chard. I don't think we've got any rain on the forecast, but you never know with this British weather. Um, I've also got her Lycra hood. Not quite sure what my times are yet for Little Gat Coombs, so it might be that we need to plait the night before. So that can go in there. I've also got the Equilibrium massage pad. This has been a real, like, favourite of mine recently since being very kindly gifted it from Tina. So that will go as well. I've then got the Wolfwear Bioceramic Boots just for a bit of recovery when she's in the stable. Then got her dry rug. Again, I don't quite know what the temperatures and everything is going to be overnight. So whether she will just need to wear this overnight, I'm not quite sure. I'm also going to take her outdoor because we have managed to get some turnout on Friday, which is nice. But again, I just don't know what the weather's sort of going to be like. Um, so just kind of for every eventuality, really, when you're away for more than like 48 hours, I haven't pulled that, that up very well. Let's just, no, we are going to put that in there. You just don't know how the weather's going to change. Um, I do think it's going to be nice, but you never know by Friday, it might have all changed and we have a low pressure coming. So next lot to go in, I've got my Albion cleaner stuff there, so that can go in so I can give things a wipe over. I've got Addie's bridle, and she wears a five point breastplate. I'll be honest, it's more just that I need the martingale part of this than I do actually the whole breast, like the whole five point. It's a little bit overkill, don't quite need it all. But it does the job, so I tend to put that in there as well. I just find I put every, like all the little bits into here, into the hairy pony bag, because it just makes it so much easier. I've also got my stirrups. I always tend to pop them in the end there. What else do we need to grab? Oh, so I've got my Champion TI-22 body protector in grey and then I've got the Point 2 air vest in the lovely fuchsia. Let's see what else we can fit in this bag. Let's put that in there. Oh, I know what I haven't got because I put them on charge is the horse wear ice vibe boot. So I've got the cool part of it in the freezer at the moment. So I'll grab them out and I've got the cool box in the car. And then I just put the vibration part of it on charge last night. So that is all charged up and the boots are in there. I love that it comes in like a little handy bag. So that again can pop into there for, for recovery. A lick, I see that's come out of it. So I tend to keep this in here. So the lick is really handy for Addy when she is being plaited because she quite often gets a bit fidgety, but by having that, and especially for the forelock, I'm able to just ask somebody, Tina, to hold it for me and then it works really well. I've also got my boots over here. Well, not my boots, Addy's boots. Just check I've actually got four. So one, two, three, four cross country boots, ideal. I'm not actually sure. I think I'm gonna wear show jumping boots because it's show jumping and cross country in, the Aventus Challenge tomorrow. I think I'm actually going to wear tendon boots. So I've got my tendon boots there and fetlock boots. So they're in there too. Um, and then I did wash these as well just for when we maybe have a little ride out like as a team tonight when we get up there. But I've only got one of them, so where's the other one? The saddle's over the top like so. 
Now that's my dressage saddle. <laughs> so nice having a dressage saddle again. Guys, I've also had to change my top because I was absolutely boiling. And then we'll pop jump saddle, which has got the girth on top. We're doing pretty well. So I've got my numbers here. So I've got dressage, jump, jump, and a normal jump. We'll take a spare one of those two. They can just go at the bottom there. Okay, then on to the grooming stuff. So that's like all the tack and everything like that that I need. And then in here, we have got a bit of razzle dazzle, a bit of super shine, gloss and go. Got all my plating stuff, got lots of scissors. Um, I've got my brush, like one brush in there. Um, so got quite a bit in there, but I think I'm going to actually take both of my grooming bags this time. Oh, some <laughs> I'm being wrapped up. I think Susie did that one. So some tack cleaner wipes in there as well. And then we don't need all these brushes. What have we got? So we don't need that one or that one. We could probably let's pop that into there. I also picked up, which I'm very excited about trying. Oh, I've got some spare hair nets as well. Let's take those ones. That one's good if there's any stains. And these ones are for Addy. So we've got the Parkour Coat Gloss. I love that brush. It's probably my favourite. And the Cavalier, so that can go in there. And then I'm very excited that I picked up some of the Smart Grooming uh, quarter marking spray. I've been wanting to get some of that for a little while. So let's hope that that makes my quarter markers a little bit better. I forgot this was in here yesterday. Oh, probably not even in camera, Emily. It is my AirPods. So I'm gonna put that in that pocket now so that I don't lose them. But I'm gonna take that just in case we do go out for a ride later. Well, I think we're going for a ride, but always good to have a bit of high vis so that can come as well. We've got hoof oil. Um, I need that quarter marking brush. Let's put that in there. And then I've got stain remover. I love this stuff because Addy does Likes to rub a bum like in the trailer, like the trailer has been fully cleaned out, but I bet after this journey, she will have pooed again on the bar and rubbed against it. So that's always handy to have. Some extra fly spray, so make sure that's off. We'll pop that in there. So that is basically all my grooming stuff in those two bags. Perfect. It's pretty much everything that I sort of take. I have just gathered in one of these fantastic IKEA bags. So shout out to Susie for making me pick them up. So I've got her fly rug again. If I've got turn out and there are flies around, she can have that one on and I will put her outdoor rug in there in a second as well. But all I've got to do now is make up her feeds. So we'll do that. Oh, I'm going to take that rug with me as well. I keep like looking around and spotting things take that one too because that's a nice cooler that can go in that bag as well that can be like the rug bag um mum has just brought my boots down she's given them a little clean i've got my jackets brought out as well i need to go and print my number so i'll do that as well but i think i'm going to get the feeds done now um, and all I do for that is literally just put them in some plastic bag. So I don't think you need to see me do that. But I put everything in there, all the balancer, all of that. So it's nice and easy. Um, she has the same for every meal. So we'll do that. And then I'll get the ponies in. They can munch on that. And then it'll be the case of hitching up the trailer. I went as well when we went to Griggs, picked up a whole load of horse hage. So we've got plenty of grub for Addy over the next few days. Fantastic bales. Like they're packed full and they really like open out but they're just nice lightweight perfect for when you're sort of traveling and need to take them in the trailer so I'll put them in the trailer my nice clean trailer because I pressure washed it all out yesterday probably by the end of this weekend it won't be looking in the state that it is now which is such a shame <laughs> shame you have to actually use these things after you clean them isn't it but the car's had a clean been hoovered out and again that'll probably be exactly the same as the trailer but I'm going to get all of that done now I think don't think that you guys want to see all of that and then we'll catch up with you guys when we're on the road and we have got Mrs Wallace in with us <laughs> oh, if only I mean I was going to get out but it looks like you guys have actually got it under control but if only it was the three of us oh nice lashes <laughs> I've got serious fame now. I know, I bet you have. I'm sad you're not coming. I'm, not, I'm sad, so let's not talk about it. <laughs> Even mum just gone, Addy, enjoy your little holiday. I'm like, yeah, it is a holiday. It's half a week. It's over half a week. Do you know what the positives are, though? What's that? I get to look after Spritey Banks and Dinks, and I get four days of peace from you two. <laughs> 
<laughs> is the latter the biggest the biggest thing there? Yeah, I saw it saying people. Please inquire, she said. Yeah. Oh my god, you printed your own number. Wow. Whoa. Do you know what though? I am going to have to send Meg a little uh, plea because little Gakum hasn't got the numbers up yet, so I actually can't print them. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm gonna have to message. I'll get, give Meg a little message. Meg. Sorry, oh. you're not coming, Suze. Oh, it does feel like holiday, especially with the calippo. Hey guys, yeah, might... calippos. Guys, you might get a shorter vlog this time. <laughs> might not get a very long what vlog. She said, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, the original vlogger out of all of us. <laughs> oh, in it goes. Whee. Guys, I'm just going to very quickly interrupt the video because you will have seen that I have finished packing what I am taking and the items that I use throughout a stay away show. But the vlog changes a little bit or my experience at Blenheim changes a little bit, which will be obviously explained further on in the video, but kind of introduces a sponsor of this video, which is the wonderful team at GS Equestrian, which I am so excited to be collaborating with for this video. And I feel like it fits in perfectly. So if you don't know, GS Equestrian is your one-stop shop where you can go on there and shop for yourself, for your horsey outfits, your horses outfits, whether that's rugs, coolers, you name it, they've got it. Your stable, your yard, your getting them all lovely and pretty for those show days as well and I just thought I would quickly run through you my top picks of some items that you will have already seen me pack but just to show you that these are currently available on their website and they will all be linked down below in the description so without further ado like I say I'm just picking my top picks a little bit of a different array of items for different scenarios but first up we have got this lovely head collar that is by Horsewear so this is Addy's show one I have got two separate for at home um, that I don't mind getting, you know, a little bit more dirty, going out to the field when they're muddy. Um, but then when we go to show days, we have got this lovely leather head collar. Always will travel in a leather head collar as well. We have also got Addy's cooler rug. Again, another horsewear product. This is the signature cooler. And I love this. So it's got like the nice wickering away material on top which just covers basically her top line and then it's got the mesh at the bottom for lovely airflow so that is a well used item within my or within Addy's wardrobe um, so then we go on to the gloss and go by smart grooming this is lovely just to give her a little spray over just when you're ready to go brush it through as well um, so that is there available um, now I'm kind of on the theme of getting Addy ready so you will have all seen that um, I thread my plaits and I use the again smart grooming wax thread I like the wax because I feel like it gives it a little bit more grip so that you're able to really tighten those plaits and make them look all pretty then when you go in cross country you obviously want to be taking those plaits out well actually that's a personal preference and it's entirely up to you but I like to take them out um, and I've got a thread picker it's not actually this one available on the GS Equestrian website there are a few different options on there but this just makes it super easy um, just to sort of find the thread and take that out without taking out lots of chunk of mane I'll be honest that's not usually one of my jobs um, although I did do it at Blenheim um, as you will see um, back to the beginning part of the process I'm not doing this very well in order am I <laughs> but this is a fabulous clip so you have got a comb on one side so that it helps me section out the plaits then when you want to keep the unwanted mane away from where you're not wanting to plait you can grip that onto it and it'll hold it in place and then I often put bands onto the end of it as well so that then you can just pull them off as you're plaiting so that is really handy and it's not an awful lot of money at all but it is super handy like I say it's three on one so I love that one for the forelock we've also got these gripping scissors again by smart grooming and I'll be honest this is quite a new addition to my grooming kit Addy has got a very thin forelock and I actually find it quite hard and it can look a little bit wonky when I thread it up so these have been really good so what you do is you go down from the top of the forelock plait all the way down through the middle underneath the plait pick up the end of where you've plaited it down there's lovely good grip on there and then on the scissors itself so that holds it really nicely and then when you like hold it tight it clips into place so you can't actually pull it away and then you just pull that up through the 
the plait and it makes it look all really nice and neat and like really back under itself. So I like that and it just simply releases like that. So that they're really good. Sorry, a lot of talking about just a little pair of scissors, but I really like them. Another thing when you are at a stay away is that they often like to lie in poo. And I have found that the NAF Muck Off Stain Remover is really, really good. Just pop that onto a damp sponge, rub it into the poo stain and it comes out really, really easily. Um, another thing that Addie likes to do is rub her bottom along the back bar. She likes to poo all over the back bar in the trailer and then gets a little bit of an itch and then she comes out with a nice line of poo and that can be like you've done all your grooming at home, you get to the show and then there's just this line of poo. So always in my grooming bag. Um, another thing post recovery or warm up is the Ice Vibe boots. Again, these are quite new to my or Addy's wardrobe this year, but really, really like them. So they come with the vibration sticks that are in the boots and you've also got the ice packs as well. So you can pop that all on and I use them for after cross country. And then we're coming to the end of my little pile. It's quite a big pile actually, isn't it? There is so much available guys on GS Equestrian. So if you're looking for anything, do go on there, type in whatever you're looking. There's a great search for functionality on the website and the delivery is also very, very good. Um, but I've also got Addy's show rug so this is the amigo hero ripstop plus light zero grams it has got a neck sprite is actually out in the field with it now so i will insert like a little picture of spritey wearing it um, but i keep this one for show day so that it stays nice and clean i like that it has a neck on it so that then if she is tacked up and i'm getting say changed for cross country and it's raining you don't really want to be putting them in and out of the trailer so i just pop this over her keeps my keeps her dry but it also keeps my saddle dry and my reins dry as well so that is fabulous addy is actually currently out in the field and wearing her another lightweight, no neck on it, but that is also available on the GS Equestrian. So I'll pop in a little picture of Addy out in that now. Um, definitely not looking quite as clean as her show rug, but it is fabulous for these showers that we just seem to be having with the typical British weather. So that is my little, my little haul from GS Equestrian. So if you liked anything that you've seen, like I say, there is links down below in the description, um, taking you to all of these products that I have shown. And as I say, there is tons on the GS Equestrian website. So be sure if you need anything to head on over there and shop away. Christmas coming up. What are you going to get your ponies for Christmas? <laughs> and don't forget when you are on the GS Equestrian website to pop in my discount code EMD5, which will get you 5% off some of the items that are in your shopping basket. We have learned that she likes strawberries. <laughs> strawberries? Yeah. Do you? You're not drinking, are you? No. No. Never mind. Oh well. Yes. Good girl. Oh clever. There we go. I'm out a bit straighter. <laughs> oh, and grass. You are a foodie through and through, aren't you? You're a good girl, though. We just arrived. Pigeon House Equestrian is where we're staying. And look, we've got trekkie lorries all around us. It has taken about five-ish hours, which I thought, but thankfully we didn't hit any traffic. Stopped a couple of times for a little pee stop, offer her some water, but typical. You can take water to them, but they don't actually drink anything. Oh, but they do need to have a wee as soon as they get off. Oh, is that better? We'll go find your stable in a second, sweetheart. Yeah, and have a little munch for a couple of seconds. Chill in your stable. And then we're just trying to we're trying to decide whether to sleep in the trailer or we have got a little tent but then i'm actually wondering where the tent's gonna go so maybe it will be best to go in the trailer and it was all pressure washed out yesterday so it is nice and clean bar of poo that she's done on the way up so it's not that bad hey have i got susie with me that i need to go and get water and a pressure washer to wash it out no, I'm used to yeah <laughs> a true equestrian <laughs> Um, so yeah, we can just clear that out. Apparently there's hay in there. Oh. But I will take yeah, that down just in case, that. yeah. Um, she can have a pick of both, but She's to be fair, grass eggs, she just wants the grass at the minute. But yes, we have got the 90 and 100, not full oh, team I members here, are we? Just oh yeah, she just, oh sorry. Yeah, oh, she's like, just had a Why wee. did I just squelch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just had a little nice. wee. Um, but yeah, let's go find your stable, Addy. Settle you in and then we can sort out Before she what finds we're going to sleep. Carrots. Oh yeah. oh yeah, she will, she will <laughs> sniff them out. 
Come on, sweetheart. Oh, she really doesn't want to leave. <laughs> Come on then. Let's find you a stable. You're a good girl. <laughs> you like it up in Oxfordshire, don't you? It's like your home away from <laughs> home, home in a minute. <laughs> we decided to have a little ride. And a beautiful sunset. Hey, and you're feeling very good, very happy, happy year. And also, I just love that I can be literally on a buckle in a field. Even I'm getting more like, oh, this would be a nice little canter up. Like we've just walked all the way up there. Um, but I was really umming and ahhing. I was like, do I ride? Don't I ride? Oh, actually, I think this might be the end of our ride. <laughs> we'll be going back. But I just thought I will just get on her, make sure she feels all okay, have a little leg stretch, and then going to go into the school and just canter just to just to get her body moving a little bit, just to make sure that they are feeling all okay. But you know that they've had a long travel, so you don't obviously want to do very much with them. But we've put the tent up. That's all set up. And, oh, I can hear a tractor. Um, that's all set up. We've got the air bed in. Couldn't decide again between the tent or the trailer, but we went with the tent. Um, yeah, now I'm just going to have a little, little ride round. My pony's being very good. Aren't you? I'm happy to be moving. Oh, it's not just like a tractor. It's actually a combine harvester, guys. <laughs> I don't think you've ever seen one of those before, Addy. Hey. Oh, we could get down to the bottom of this and then have a little trot back. But you're just so happy. Melts my heart. Just literally just on her own, away from all the horses at the yard. And she's just like, yeah, cool. I love how, I mean, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it works against us. But your independence is very good, isn't it? I bet Spritey's independence right now isn't very good. I bet she's neighing and missing you. And you're like, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Tucked up in our bed. Banksy's tucked up in his I'm bed. Just checking on him. Checking him. <laughs> Love how you've got signal. Vodafone's not coming through for hello. me. I've been Vodafone's playing Wordle. not on now. Although that's Vodafone. Oh, hello. That's it's Vodafone. Like you can hear us. I do think they get a sense that you are checking them, don't do you? you? Yeah. Well, Addy he probably used to when I had the light turned on, but I've turned the light off now. <laughs> <laughs> so he's probably got a real strong <laughs> sense then. <laughs> Oh no, I haven't got the light come on, but Addy always looks up at it, Aww. always knows. Whereas Sprite don't care, she just carries on with whatever she's doing, eating or, yeah, sleeping. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, we've checked on Addy, she is all good, she's had her dry rug put on, but actually she's feeling pretty warm. Like, her little stable's all tucked in away, which is nice. Yeah, it um, was warm in there. Yeah, but I think she's, she's a bit like a toddler, I think she's actually quite tired, and she was like, I'm actually, I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> um, but food was very nice at the pub, and How our first... That? There's a, a light on your yeah, watch. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I didn't know that. No. I do now, but I've only got three percent battery. So, so that's enough. probably gone now. A pub was good. And does anybody know the game? <laughs> I was so amazed by it. Aunt Sally. Aunt which, Sally. Yeah, never heard of it before. Yeah, when they said, oh, Aunt Sally's arriving in a minute, yeah. so you're going to have to move. Okay, no problem, thinking a band's about to set up Ooh, and play. Oh, right by the dance floor. Yeah, and we're like, hold on, it's a Wednesday night. Who <laughs> who plays a band? But no, it's not. You throw batons at a pin, like white pin thing. Anybody to try that's from Oxford here yeah, will know what it is, won't they? If they're yeah. watching, comment we, below if you know what it is, but we didn't know. Definitely. Don't play it in Cornwall, Cornwall. apparently. Oh, so it's about it's to say. Oxfordshire, Buckinghamshire. Warwickshire. Tina's just been I've looking just it been all up. Googling, you know, <laughs> Wikipedia. Yeah. But no, that was quite um, a bit of entertainment, actually. It might not have been a band, but it was quite entertaining. Sorry, mine's better than yours. Oh, yeah, yours is a phone. <laughs> <laughs> I was just doing it as like a ring light, you know. All right, there you go. Back ah. to yours. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, we are now in bed at nine o'clock. <laughs> Well, it's now half past nine, but we've been in bed talking. Oh wow, we have talking rubbish. How is it half now? past? Oh wow, I didn't realise it was so late. Now. We are going to go sleep now. Um, everybody's plaiting, which I did not realise was <laughs> on the itinerary that we That's had to right. do. That's right, your groom will not do it for you in the morning. Thanks very much. You wouldn't let me anyway. No, I know. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like, they're atrocious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never know. So yes, alarm has been set for six o'clock. We want to leave here at eight. 
everyone's all leaving in convoy so that we can park next to each other which would be nice and then we're going to support the 90 walk the course passport check and also got to pay a starting fee which no. i didn't know we've done that for many yeah. a year no i know not in person like and I, how often do you carry cash now i've got cash with me. thankfully i have oh, but yeah. i don't normally how much is it five pounds Ooh. I know. Actually, cheaper than BE. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. So that is the God, plan of action. You to arrive at BE and pay your start fee. Yeah. Yeah. You that, get your numbers. That changed at COVID, didn't it? Mm. Yeah. So yes, that is the plan of attack for tomorrow morning. Support the ninety, and see what we've got. I hear that there might be a water like combination, which is quite cool. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you look so tired. Tired. It's yeah. quite cozy, actually, isn't it? You you warmer now. Yeah, I'm warmer. Yeah. I mean, you have got pyjamas on and a jumper over the top. Get out, toggy. Yeah. I haven't bothered to get changed so that I can get straight up in the morning. But yeah, <laughs> anyways, we'll see you. She'll be wearing that for the next three days, guys. I know, and I've bought a whole array of clothes, as per usual, but I'll probably wear the same thing. But never mind. We've got a nice comfy bed tomorrow, and I'm really excited <laughs> this already. This is comfy. This is comfy, but... We're not divas, we're happy. No, I know, but it'll be nice. We can have a nice shower and get into a nice comfy bed. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, see you guys in the morning. Oh, I didn't capture that Winnie. <laughs> and you've come now and you've uh, disturbed her from uh, a headrest. Oh, she was chilling. Oh, actually, I'm impressed, Daddy. You didn't get it. Oh, they are quite tied up, I suppose. Have you been trying to get them down? Because you'd usually get the them rugs. Off, you, at home. <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> <laughs> she was very happy. She was very confused. Where's my food? Oh, why well, you didn't come <laughs> straight with <laughs> breakfast? She's such a toddler. Aren't <laughs> <laughs> <And> you? <laughs> it feels nice on my teethies. Yeah. It's not, it's a needle, and you definitely don't want to eat that either. Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> no, she's very good. Massive pad is on. Okay. So we're all up. The time has moved to that we're leaving at half past seven. So. I'm going to go and take the tent down. Is it quarter to seven? <laughs> <laughs> quarter to seven? Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, oh. oh, somebody's alarm. <laughs> Time to get up. <laughs> Not sure if we've actually even shown our uh, sleeping quarters, but <laughs> that's where we were last night. Emily's £30 bargain from Tesco's. It was pretty cosy, to be fair. But yeah, time to take it down. We didn't put the pegs in too far. <laughs> Could you put it on windy? All about the bees. The bees? Yeah, because she'll get badminton next year and she's going to Blenheim today. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny you should say that actually because I was only thinking this morning it's funny that Burley don't do something. Yeah. I think they have like show jumping classes and stuff, don't do they? they? I, I actually don't. Well, I'm not, yeah, I'm not even sure, but there's nothing appetised eventy wise for grassroots. No. So. Won't be long because you've got Bramham for yeah. the 80s. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah that's what I was thinking. Bees. But yes, we are all left in convoy. Can't lie, it was a little bit like, oh, we're leaving. And Addy didn't actually <laughs> Em's not used to being on time. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but it's good. I like it. I like Ooh, being organised. Cozy down oh, these lanes. Don't admit that to Susie. I can't believe I've just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I like being organised, she just said, Suze. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we're all left in convoy, which is nice. It's about a 15 minute drive to Blenheim. And it's currently 20 to 8. Yeah. Not bad. bad, is it? Yeah. yeah. Thanks for putting all the tent away. That's all right. Didn't do a bad job. Should have no, filmed myself. I was quite proud yeah. of myself. No, you did very good. The blow up bed. I'm more impressed with. Um, <laughs> yeah. Excited. This is when I'm glad I haven't got a lot. I know. I was just thinking. <laughs> it's a bit of a snug fit. I don't think the camera's going to quite show <laughs> how tight that was on the no. lorry's roof just then. <laughs> um, so we're supporting them first and then they're going to come over and support us too. We're also seeing Lucy and Meg. Yeah, Lucy sadly isn't taking them no, because she's poor little. Oh. I'm just clicking. But she's doing her road to Blenheim on Horse and Country TV, isn't she? And I think you're going to yeah. find the cameras on your face oh, now, mate. No. <laughs> I am not putting any pressure on myself no, today. Exactly. I'm going to say that foremost now. I am just here to foremost. Fully, wow. Yeah, to fully enjoy it. I'll okay. look left for you. Thank you. To Don't fully go. enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> go now. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, co-pilot. <laughs> um, yeah, I am just going up there just to enjoy this and be embrace that I'm able to ride here and mm -hmm. yeah, definitely that is. Well, I think Addy will enjoy it too. I think Addy's going to enjoy it. And what I'm actually really looking forward to is that they said that the jumps aren't necessarily big, but there's quite a lot of technical yeah. lines. Wide and, actually, and technical lines. Yeah. Wide, skinny and technical lines. Because you yeah. can't fit full on big 
cross country jumps in an arena really yeah. can you like they're limited on size and we heard last night that there might be a water in the hundred I know. <laughs> yeah and it's those little things that actually i get excited about well, yeah which... get a nice picture yeah well <laughs> Hopefully I don't have a face. <laughs> you, as Pretty long sick. as you don't have a face like Jamie when we no. came here in 2015, then... Uh, Has that come through? She, yeah. she hasn't no. found it. I wonder if she's deliberately not, not found, found it. it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but that was funny. They gave it to her for free, did you say, last Yeah, time? they ended up giving it to her for free because it's such an awful face. <laughs> Brilliant. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jay. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> right, we'll update you when we get there. Yeah. It's not far, as we said. No. Did you say? About 15 minutes, I think. Perfect. Please keep dogs on leads and be aware of traffic. Guys, we're entering the grounds of Blenheim. Who's that over there? We definitely just saw, yeah. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? Oh, we've yeah. come right in, look, we're coming right in level with the... Yeah. Nearly said castle. Palace. Blenheim Palace, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, you're a lot higher up than when we came, aren't you? Yeah. We were miles away over there. Have we come in, have we come in the five star entrance? Four star, four star, get it right, Tina. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, wait a minute, is that Laura Collett on the grey? Wow. What's the dressage here then? Oh, have they got a young horse? Oh, no, they do have dressage um, finals, don't they? Do like they? a riding club thing as well, I think. Aww. I think, I don't know. It's not, I don't think, don't it, oh, ROR finals. Ah, don't look at it, it's not you. You don't have to, you do, don't have to do dressage. Oh, that one's getting a bit excited. Oh, he thinks he's on a race course. Yeah, I didn't know if the grey over there was Laura Collett with Hester. Mm. Hester's here. Ah, oh, how amazing how close you are to everything. I know. <laughs> we literally were like, we had to trek like up the hill, yeah. down a hill, didn't we? I think you did it in quite early days, didn't you? Yeah, they've... Uh... Sorry, Addy, that one thing that I thought it was going to be good girl. Oh, she's excited that she's here. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. She Look does. At <laughs> she, oh, I might go around that full star track one day. <laughs> yeah, with Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, they look doable, Emma. Yeah, uh, one. One. <laughs> oh, guys, this is looking so cool. Look, we've got a little water. So we start off, so it is just like arena eventing. We have got, I don't know how many you show jumps. Like ladies, you'd like to be in oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <Sorry. laughs> Valid point. There's the start. So, right rain, left rain. I'm going to come in left rain. I think come around that water. Uphill, around the back Uphill, of the water. With a nice big canter, nice energy canter. And also, my thing today is don't hear the buzzer and think, Panic. I've got to start. Yeah. Think, I've got plenty of time. Do You've a transition. Five seconds or something, haven't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to push her on up, allow her. Just make sure as you're coming up that hill and making that turn, that that is not what she's clocked. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I'll try and be here so she, yeah, no. Right. <laughs> All good. Get nice and straight for this, because your number two is straight after as well. Because there's a cross-country fence right there. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. <laughs> yeah, you've got a lovely straight line between one and two. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. Stride it out then. Just watch that, it's already undulation straight into number Yeah, it's downhill a bit, isn't it? Shoulders up. Five strides. Passport slipping down my top. <laughs> <laughs> or Addy's passport. Oh yeah, so you're going back on yourself back uphill. And again, it's going to lead you as you make that turn to go towards fence one cross country. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just all about making sure your eyes are going the right direction. Yeah. Eyes and shoulders. Eyes and shoulders, heads, because then your hips and your legs will follow, don't they? That one. Again, make sure that she's underneath her off her forehand for that one. Hard to fit rail because you've got to come round the little hump, the little mound. Fence four again, shoulders stay back. I wonder how much like that. Off the fence line. You won't be that close to the fence line, though, will you? No, probably not. There. Yeah. Perfect. Three strides. Nice. Running downhill as well. So. Yeah, shoulders back. This will be tricky because she's going to look at arch her neck and. Body in and like yeah, <laughs> crabby around the corner. So that's where you've got to not rush. Yeah. But then Make still you regain your power. still regain your canter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. What do you do in that situation? You, I think you've almost as you're coming down that hill, you've got to bring her back yourself anyway. Don't yeah. just try and bring her on and be like, right, we're going past it. 
because then you're going too fast to yeah, and I bring her back anyway and she's listening to you thinking oh we're slowing down why are we slowing down I thought we were carrying on jumping one good thing is that you got them warm up there but that could also be a hindrance that if you're like coming back up, back away, up from it. away from it but hopefully she should have gone no I think if you land even if you land on the right leg bring her right back as if you were going to change legs yeah. and then recompose and carry on again yeah. I wouldn't try and keep a normal rhythm through there. I don't think. I don't know. You're awesome. <laughs> you ride it how you want to ride it. Have about two straight strides there. Mm -hmm. Then go. I think. Yeah, because you only need two straight strides. You almost want to plan to ride a slightly inside track anyway. Yeah. Oh, Tina, there's Alex. Oh, <laughs> ask him how to ride that. <laughs> Going to dress us. All right, <laughs> good luck! <laughs> Uphill, so yeah. So that be oh, keep her and ride him. Alright, we've then got the purple pony. Oh, wow! <laughs> Yeah, I think that was seven, wasn't it? So a nice loop round. Yeah, you You're going to come inside, aren't you? I would have thought. Yeah. I don't know. You might come inside of there, Em, to make it not an erratic turn. Yeah, I'm wondering whether to go between these two. Yeah. Also, that might help you before fence, t fence 10 in the water. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? Because you does see that all this grass. And that is the first part of shoe jumping. Okay. Done. Right. Make sure she doesn't lock onto the double backwards. <laughs> and come round for our nice first. <laughs> this is where you're technically about to leave the start box. <laughs> Always nice when they've got a nice inviting one to start yeah. off, isn't it? So they know the transition between the between the two. Yeah, where'd you head from that though? All the way around to pass number one, you get a good gallop there. <laughs> I don't know what timing is like for this. No. I think it's all about having fun and not thinking too much about that. You know you're not going to be too slow, that's for sure. No. Lose some mega en route. It's yeah. going to be a right little reunion. I did wonder whether you were going to. I think an Addy two strides from the from your turn. <laughs> Not too much of a forward two, unless you really hug the fence line. Oh, that's nice though. I like that. Yeah. That's fast. Yeah, but look, three's quite quick succession. Yeah. Nice curving line, though, but plenty of room. How many fingers? No, I have to count on my hands because I get, I get confused. I can't do the weird thing that you do. That was Fred that taught me that. One, yeah. two, three, four, two, 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 three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four. Yeah, I can't do it. Oh. <laughs> Repeat after me. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. I am going, yeah, I'm going to go wide here because that is almost asking you after that fence. Cut down oh there. goodness, yeah, and that's a quite a sharp turn to fall. Yeah, so I'm actually going to pull her back out and waste a bit of time, I think. Yeah. Go nicely around that tree that's there. This can be one of your recompose, rebalance moments. Yes. After we've had my woohoo at defence one. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to gallop the whole track. Yeah. Oh, we go through the water twice. Oh, cool. And then we've got four. I'm actually really excited to ride. <laughs> oh, I don't know where to stand to film. Yeah, I, I can guarantee your who's won't follow your footsteps. No, do you not look quite straight? <laughs> no, I just don't think you'll go quite as out as wide as you. Do you not think? I'm cutting a little bit. I think, I think the hill is going to Drag you down a bit, yeah. Two and two, isn't it? For you. <laughs> I'd be doing two and three. <laughs> <laughs> Got your wellies on? <laughs> I 
I know, I really don't want to be complacent, but Andy loves water. As <laughs> <laughs> so long as she doesn't stay in it too long. No. Yeah, she doesn't do the splashing like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's more cross country sh jumps than show jumps. Ideal. <laughs> Perfect. Can't yeah. knock them down. We still got the bloody joker yet. <laughs> At least it's uphill, not downhill. Yeah. I reckon that is on it. Oh, nine's there. <laughs> Concentrate on me, right? Come over there. Come I reckon that's going to be another four strides to ten. That's a nice curving line. Got nice trees guiding you in. Mm-hmm. Four four. Yeah. Water. And a big deep breath. Well, Remember we just have to tell ourselves that we love planks. We love planks. And we also love riding together, having fun together and competing together. Yeah. <laughs> I won't pan on your face, don't worry. <laughs> she like I jump number seven again, Mum! <laughs> No, exactly. It's like just fun that you're here. I'm a bit zoomed in. To four. <laughs> to four. And then get there. You get three strides, two strides, two straight strides, double. Again, two strides. Tail plat in. Very speedy. I do need to thread it up. Please don't let me get over a bit. Not thread it up. <laughs> but got that in quickly. But the ninety. Team Trekkies are on their ponies and in the warm up. So the 90 is a little bit further down, and then we've got to cross over the bridge to the 100. But the 90 have actually got some more Technical tricky lines, yeah, lines they have in actually. there. Yeah, they've yeah, they got have. almost like a treble, haven't they? Like, yeah, and you've got to do like a S bend on them all. So it'll be brave and go straight. Well, yes. You Harriet could do says that. just oh, go going straight. straight. Oh, okay. Fair enough. There's Sam. I'm sure you guys will all know. Sam and my Sam. Yeah. Oh, they look good in all their trekkie colours. So there's a mixture. We've got the blue and the white. Yeah. Blue's but old school and the white's new, but everybody's yeah. loving white nowadays, aren't they? They are, yes. Yeah. It does look smart. Oh, and it looks good down the arm. Harriet and Ned. The beauty of like Team club events. Yeah, yeah, riding club because oh, yeah. even though this is this is riding club, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not how there's pony club tomorrow, isn't there? But yeah, it's just nice. We're all parked together, all helping each other out, and yeah. it's just nice. Cheering each other on. Yeah, and that's what I love about these events. What is my pony doing? Sleeping on the front ramp. <laughs> is that a look, Addy? Yeah. Hello. Hi. What have you done to your forelock? Oh. <laughs> you just, did you Hi. Like I think it might have got caught on the rope, don't you? Yeah. Oh, hello. We've got an Alvis quiff going on. We better sort that one out, shouldn't we? Can we get you out? It's your time now. Oh Good girl. <laughs> Addy, waddy woo. You okay? Got over it. Let's see, finish. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> she still wants the grassies. Good girl. You've got these. It's yummy. She's like, I will reach. <laughs> Let go. She's <laughs> mum, you's mean. Why can't I just have a little bit? She did have a little bit. Yeah, but why can't I just reach with my. Lead her a bit longer. Is she on turn or something? Yeah, that is one of her favourite trips. <laughs> and here we have the 100 team. Ah, All looking raring to go. <laughs> oh, these lot make you look small, laddie. <laughs> Laddie's off, leading the way. Ooh, look, en route, we get to see the water crossing. Oh, and somebody having a jog. Good on them, keen beans. And Addy's looking very happy, but very relaxed, which is lovely. And you, Addy, Waddy, woo. All right? Yeah. Feeling good? She's feeling relaxed? Yeah, she is, actually. She's 
She looks happy but relaxed. Oh no, wow. I wouldn't expect to be able to let go of my reins fully. No. Maybe, she's still a bit Maybe you're a bit too relaxed, Em. It's because you're here to purely enjoy it. Woo, look at that combination on the mounds there. Most definitely not. I don't know, that looks nice on takeoff side, just not on landing. <laughs> Team photo with the bridge in the background. Good ponies. One more on the end, two bays in the middle, perfect. It's like they've been here before. How many times did you search yourself? 20. <laughs> Positive mental attitude. Eddie says, yes, I agree. I need this bit of hay out of my eye, though. I'm just getting her used to being in this corner. Yeah, good shout. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good place to have a little look at, isn't it? Good girly. And have a little look at the water when you first go in there. Yeah. <laughs> she says, I know. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Listening to you? Ah, yeah. oh, good. <laughs> Wee. <Whee. laughs> She's like, I know best, Mum, don't you know? <laughs> One more. Hey? Nice. She wasn't touching that. There's six bolts that go to 5.6 nice. there for Anne. Real shape. Beautiful. Oof. <laughs> Almost beautiful. <laughs> Shoulders up a little bit. <laughs> Steady. Crikey. Wow, she's pinging. She likes jumping out of that bigger canter. <laughs> I would come a bit quietly to the upright and just see if you can put her a tiny bit deeper. Get a nice sensible jump. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nice, yeah, just keep your body up because with her jumping that big. Whew. And you don't want to risk a headbutt either. She's jumping huge. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think on that last ride, you just got to think there's a drop on landing. Nice. Nice. She's been very careful. Look who's it. You're looking far too glam, actually. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful. Give us a twirl. Oh, thank you. Mate, this is my... I've just moved house and hung one of these Wow. So, guys, everybody's rocked up from Horse and Country, <laughs> apart from Lucy. <laughs> Where's Lucy? Is she going to come sprinting down? <laughs> Shock. Good luck, enjoy it, smile, breathe, shoulders back. <laughs> all of the above, all at the same time. Yeah. Really easy, actually, when you're on the ground. Good luck. Now, the warm up was good. I've just got to admit that it was quite a small area. So, when there was a lot of people in there, it just made it feel even smaller. But as you saw, Addy was absolutely pinging. So, I've gone down and around, wasn't pressured by the buzzer going off. 
managed to get that nice big canter and we have got a couple of angles so there will be a couple of repeats which is nice because I feel like that gives me a little bit longer when doing this voiceover so she did slip just before that fence one and she does slip quite a few times throughout this course but she got the nice five strides okay. down there didn't affect us on that so then here we turned back on ourselves, just made sure that we stayed in that nice open canter and she jumped over that one lovely. And then we got it from the front view. So then it feels like it's quite a long way round and like dodging all the other jumps and things like that. But down back past the crowd, which I'm really surprised that she wasn't spooked by that at all. She was absolutely game on. We did rattle that one, but it stayed in place then coming around for this double which I knew was going to be a hard turn and bless her she did just have that other little slip there but still just stayed straight saw the job and got over that double nicely so was pleased with how she recovered from that over fence six she jumped nicely too and then it's again this weird line so I did come out and around this cross-country fence and I did actually go around the timer that's there too um, but it still just felt like quite a sharp turn but it did just allow us to have a few more straight strides towards that fence seven and then I actually really struggled to make the turn after fence seven to come back towards the first cross-country fence so there again so you can see we had really nice straight strides and I felt like that was a bit of a handbrake turn and then Addy's like, okay, this is my part now. Let's go on to the cross country. So over that fence one, then all the way out and around up to the top of the arena again, which is nice. It gets you sort of going. You can gather your reins, gather your thoughts, um, breathe. And then saw a nice stride there and easily got the striding in between the two and the three, which was nice. Again, just wanting to make sure that she was listening. So just quick change of leg around for fence four which was then onto the four strides and into the water and into the water absolutely no trouble riding. whatsoever so we'll just see it now from the other angle this one's actually a little bit better there's just so many jumps that quite often they're a bit in the way but flew through that was really really chuffed and she came off again not looking at the crowd we did jump a little bit up which then made us short here and then just caused us to have that sort of half a stride but Addie was super quick and clever and showed off all her scope and I just think here we've just gone a little bit like woohoo um and thankfully it was only my foot that hit the flag so that was no trouble and then again going through that water which she well absolutely done, flew through, no trouble whatsoever. And then we're turning on our final line. And here with just a little bit, we, I cut it too short. It didn't quite get straight. And she just had it down with her back toes, which was such a shame. But what a fantastic round. I was really, really chuffed. That was unlucky. Just 1.2 time, but sadly the joker at the end there just flipped <laughs> it with a back foot. Very unlucky. <laughs> well done, Emily. Oh, that was beautiful. Absolutely super. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah, Addy was loving it. <laughs> was Emily loving it? Brilliant. Good <laughs> on, yeah. Well done. Oh my goodness, I'm very out of breath. She was keen. Well done. I've got all your super rounds keen. on video. Dear of her. Oh, no, so really cool. keen. Yeah, I've got everything. So good video. in that atmosphere. Yeah. Oh, she was game on. She was going whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna keep yeah. her walking a bit. I'll come with you. Oh, you, do you need water? I need a breather. Oh. Go shopping. That was hey. amazing, just do a lap. And, yeah. yeah. No. Oh. We were quite tight into that plank, actually. I think you did take that. it on a bit of an angle. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> but well done. Yeah, no. Amazing. Yeah, she that turn, she slipped quite a lot in there. Yeah, she? yeah. But well, she was bold. bold. I was like, bless your cotton socks for going. Yeah. Because I didn't think she was going to. Oh, amazing. I'm just so proud of her in the atmosphere. Yeah, she really listened in the show jumping. Yeah, yeah, she really did. And then cross country, she's like, ha, my turn. Oh, uh, number nine to ten, I was like, whoa, why did we got a turn? <laughs> <laughs> but no, she was super. Aww. She was such a good girl. Fabulous. Yeah. Clever, clever, clever. <laughs> she's like, treats. Yeah. Aww. She enjoyed that. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I fancy seeing you here. Oh Wait. Oh, no, now the lens cap is off. Look who's arrived. You got long legs. You can go quicker than that. Time for a 
for reference. Uh, <laughs> oh, and the rest, Meg. You're being kind, mate. <laughs> we just had the uh, Joke event now. Oh. But epic. Leave it up back. We're back at the box. I mean, I'm going to be honest now. I chickened out on the walk back because there was a very <laughs> exciting. You didn't chicken out. You were sensible. You I'm made sensible. a sensible decision. Yeah. I'm like Tina take my horse. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one with hat and boots on and gloves. Tina take my horse. <laughs> you did offer, and I just didn't. I just yeah. Didn't know. There was one coming back from dressage that knew it had finished dressage, yes, didn't yes, it? And it was cross country time next. <laughs> it was very excited. And then Addy was like, "I need to catch that one." Yeah, and I yeah, and it was down through the trees, and I was like. This isn't a good idea, so <laughs> off we got. But no, I am so chuffed. And actually, I'm pleased with myself because I did feel a little bit extra pressure again. <laughs> when HMC rocked up. Yeah, exactly. And everyone's like, yeah, we're filming you. And then Simon's there. And <laughs> Meg, I mean, not Lucy, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it was, um, it was fab. Really good. Really enjoyed it. I didn't breathe around the show jumping. You were a little bit out of puff when you came out, which is not the normal Emily. No, you can tell she's not running as much as she used to, guys. Recently, my uh, jumpers know that I haven't ran too much either. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was because I held my breath, and then when I got over fence three of the cross country, I suddenly went, <gasps> and I was like, Emily, you haven't breathed. <laughs> and they were just saying about um, how they gasped. Harriet just sent me your video on airdrop. Yeah. And she said how much they gasped when Addy took a stride out to number eight. Remember when you took the flag with your foot? Yes. I was like, it was her foot! Yeah. <laughs> Do you want 15 penalties? No. Oh, bless her. Yeah, I forgot about that one. She's like, I can go from here. Oh, no, she did you watch me. Yeah. Clever yeah. girly. Really and I'm just so pleased, with, I think I've said it multiple times now, but how good she was in that atmosphere. Yeah. She's shrunk quite a lot recently in her rounds. Um, but I did. The, I went in and I did exactly what I wanted to do before going into even number one. And I was expecting her to be spooky all past those people. And she was just like, they're all here to watch me. That's good, <laughs> So no, I am. Um, I think you went in with the determination to enjoy it. Yes. And that yeah. rubbed off on her as well. Yeah. yeah. If you go in with, oh my God, we've got to go clear. Yeah. And that's what, what's lovely about this event is it's here to have fun and ride at a prestigious venue as opposed to You've got to be top. All the words and shit. You've got to be top of the leaderboard, though. It's not about that here, is it? No. Like there's, it, you can't calculate to be top. It's such a, like I don't. We we didn't even find out what the timing was, no. and we were very shocked that you had time penalties. But, but equally, no, it I didn't matter. Time. It wasn't about that. You, you, you had time. I was like, because, yeah, but I went wide, and I did, and I walked. Yeah, you wide. gave her nice lines, which is what she needed till till the last jump. I know. Sorry, she's going to kick herself when she watches it back. But she's not because it's not about that. No, and also in those moments, I would usually go, oh, hold, hold, hold. Yeah. And then she'd hit it with the front leg. No, she took a nice stride. She yeah. just didn't take off parallel behind, that's all. Yeah. Good girly. We can deal with that. We can indeed, especially over bloody. Oh, we love planks. Sorry, we love planks. Love we love planks. Do you know what? I don't actually. Dislike planks. I don't mind planks and I still don't now because it was no, my fault. It wasn't exactly. Her fault. Yeah, exactly. Be careful. She was very careful. She jumped everything by miles. I know. I can't wait to see Martha's pictures. Ne nearly had an air jacket moment in the warm up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Blimey. Or a black nose. A black black yeah. eyes. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, we've now got to go and do a um interview with Harry. Yes. <laughs> and with Luce. Yes. Because um it's now called Emily's Road to Blenheim. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <I> don't know. <laughs> But no, we just um, sorted her out. Car's pretty much loaded back up. Which is yeah, nice. I let you put that in order that you want it out on yeah. Saturday. Um, so that's pretty much done. Just take out these last couple of plaits and tail plaits. She's had a good munch. You can see about how she's Addie's in her element. And then we'll pop her back on the box and then we'll just be an hour or so. Not too long. Have a browse of the shopping. She's had a good amount of time hours. Oh, so. She's been out for a couple of hours now, yeah. yeah. And you can ride her again later when we get to your overnight yeah, accommodation. Yeah, she is, yeah. You're such a Might even have a school, you could just give her a little lunge, stretch her legs. Yeah. You're such a good girl. Last couple of plaques. She's like, let me just check out these last couple of blades of juicy grass. Yeah, it doesn't give you arm ache when taking these out, eh? <laughs> I'm assuming this is two vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Hit the um, subscribe and notification bell yeah. to see Addy go around, little Gatcom. I'm excited for that now, that's given me. Yeah. Oh my god, how game was she for the cross country part? Oh <laughs> she said, You didn't let me go round at child mummy, I had, had making up to do. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, yeah, that's another thing as well. I just feel so much better after Char. Mm. So yeah. much better. And that was fresh. epic. You haven't even watched it back yet either, and it was no. very well ridden. Oh, thank you. Aww. Except for the last fence. You'll kick yourself. No, you won't. No, you I won't. will kick myself, but equally. But like you say, it's not like you had to go clear to qualify for anything. It's no, about having exactly. fun and being at a prestigious yeah. venue exactly. and enjoying yourself, and which is exactly what you've done. Ever since I groomed for you, I almost came last year, didn't I? But it clashed with Chillington. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. No, I'm... Epic. Yeah. She was very good. And she made 100 look small. Yeah, no problem, was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just don't think Emily's ready to. <laughs> said, I don't fancy jumping any bigger than 100. No. You don't have to. No, no pressure. Good girl, Waddy. Oh, she's like, hello, doggies. For Emily. <laughs> it is, it's quite funny. <laughs> Your pony is so strong. It's ridiculous. Which is probably, I shouldn't show that she's quite rude, but. <laughs> but you find it quite funny. I find it entertaining. I haven't got gloves on. Don't get into tug of war with her, that's the thing. When she does it, you need to... Come on! Good girl! Like a pro! <laughs> and she's like, oh... <laughs> yes, it does! She's like, okay, I've had my last plate of grass, <laughs> now I will go in. She's funny! <laughs> Note to self, next time you leave Daddy, wear gloves. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a little bit of lunch, and then the girls have decided to go on this massive wheel. I can't think of anything... Wow, Lucy, what is in your bag? It's heavy. Um, I can't think of anything worse. I'm claustrophobic. I'm not a wimp, but I'm just claustrophobic. And I know that I'd get about two things up and I'd go into panic that I can't get out. So I'm not putting myself through that. I've been through enough today doing the hundreds and stressing. So yeah, they can enjoy the... I think, is it called a Ferris wheel? Yeah, it's a Ferris wheel, isn't it? Yeah, they can enjoy that. I've never been. I don't even like roller coasters or anything. I am. I'm a wimp. I know. <laughs> but off they go. They can wait from the top. Let's get them from the top. They survive. <laughs> Simon, what a backdrop. PB for Simon and Buster. Oh. Buster, Buster looks very, very I was just about to say that, looks very happy with himself. Oh. Good boy, Buster. It's been absolutely lush to be with everybody today. But my pony is still on the box, so it's time to head down to our next, next destination. destination. <laughs> is this one vlog or is this multiple vlogs? Multiple. I was gonna Come say. on. It's never going to be in one, is it? But actually Ooh, what I might do is finish it here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and being at this beautiful venue. I can't believe we get to we've gotten to ride here. Um but yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed and stay tuned. Oh you'll be in the next vlog too. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you at Little Gap Coom, so make sure that you've got your notifications turned on for when that vlog goes live. Thanks for watching. Oh, sure. Lose. Shout bye, bye to my vlog. Thanks for coming. Bye. So it was a little bit crazy by the end of leaving up at Blenheim. We obviously, as you saw, everybody was there, the whole Horse and Country crew, Meg, Lucy. It was great. It was such a great day, but I was obviously conscious that Addy was still on the box and we needed to get to our next destination. So I feel like I very hurriedly ended the vlog, but just wanted to do a little ending here. Now home um, after a very fab weekend away. I can't believe that we got to ride at Blenheim. It was absolutely incredible and our team came 10th so we got a top 10 finish which is incredible really really good um, great time away as I have said many many a times if you guys are on the fence literally on the fence I'm and ahhing about joining a riding club I would highly recommend it. It's how Tina and I became friends. I have made so many friends through our lovely local riding club and they hold events throughout the whole year. It's not just Blenheim. You've got the riding club champs, the horse trials, the dressage, dressage to music, quadrille. I've done that a few times. So yeah, 
there is sort of something for everybody and I would highly recommend joining a riding club. So that comes to the end of today's video. I just wanted to give another massive shout out to GS Equestrian for sponsoring today's video. Really excited about this collaboration. Um, I just feel like it's really nice. I get so many messages going, can you link me to this, link me to that? And it's nice that I can now link you through to the GS Equestrian website. As I say, it is a one-stop shop for you to go there and spend your monies on your pony, on yourself. And I didn't mention earlier in the video about my outfit. So I am wearing some items from the new Autumn Winter 2024 range from Toggy. This is the, wow, well, actually let's start at the bottom. So I have got the Ross base layer on, winter base layer in the lovely green um, and it's got like fleece lining inside of it it's very very cozy and again it might look sunny but actually it's pretty chilly today so that is very very nice i love the two-tone the contrasting gold on there as well i've popped on the brooks gilet over the top lovely snuggly and very cozy again has got that contrasting gold and the tan with the green so it partners up with the ross base layer very very nicely then i've got the foster sculptor riding tights on again these are winter so they have got that really lovely cozy inner lining they've got a knee patch that is lovely and grippy sometimes when you want to be wearing something nice and cozy like your riding tights I don't always like to have a full bum, like when you're doing, I wear these for everything, like doing my yoga, all of that, because they are super stretchy and allows you to do everything. So like I say, these are all, oh, we better show my socks too. You can get some of the socks on the GS Equestrian website too. So you can be all matchy matchy if that's what you're into. But like I say, these are all available currently on the GS Equestrian website. Again, they are all linked down below in the description. They've also got some sale items on, and I know that I wear the technical pink polo top from Toggy. Again, that came out in the spring summer 24 range, and I absolutely love it. Um, so that is in the sale currently, and you can use my discount code over the top of that too, guys. So make sure that you head on over there if you want a little bit of a bargain. But otherwise, I will see you in a vlog very, very soon. Please don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. And of course, hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already. And until the next vlog, I will see you all at Little Gatcoon.